Hello everyone, it's time for my look ahead video. So we're looking ahead to New Comic Book Day, March the 22nd, 2023. A lot of books to go through. This is going to be a big, big week. And uh, we'll talk about my theme later. There is a, uh, there is a purpose to this. But we will get to that. So let's start with independent books. And there's, it's a big week for indies. There's a lot of indie books coming out. And man, I wish this glare wasn't... Uh, there's this glare right through here. I hate that. I don't know exactly what to do about that, getting rid of that. I don't know. Anywho, independent books. And these are all books that I just find interesting that I will pick up if I see them at the shop. I'm passing this information on to you. So you make your, uh, make your own decisions about what you want to spend your money on. Here we have, first up is Archie from Archie Comics. I thought this one looked interesting. I'm always interested in the oddball Archie publishing stuff. I don't like the, you know, the bubblegum, hey, Riverdale, yay, Archie Jughead stuff. You know, I'm not into the cartoonish stuff. But when they put out weird kind of adult-themed stuff, I find it interesting. And this one is called Pop's Chocolate Shop of Horrors. And that's really all I know of it. I, I don't, it's, I didn't read the solicitation. I, I think I did, but I don't remember it. But it just sounds, the title, the title kind of grabbed me. So I think if they have that at my shop, I'll pick it up. Blood Moon Comics is on a roll, man. They're putting out another one that really looks interesting. It is called Pop-Up. And it's a horror book. And it says a brand new pop-up museum has arrived. It contains the world's most infamous and cursed supernatural objects. For creator and starving artist Diane Strickland, this is her big break. Tomorrow is the grand opening, and she and her family must work through the night to make sure it is all ready. But what? But what do you get when you bring back so many evil exhibits together? Absolute terror, of course. That's the solicit on that book, and and I think it sounds interesting. I'm only horror books in general are really hot right now it's kind of a big deal so i'm definitely going to be picking that one up hopefully and my shop's good about bringing in indies so hopefully that's there um boom studios is putting out a book called the neighbors and i thought the solicit sounded interesting on that one the solicit goes as follows when janet and oliver gowdy Moved to a quaint mountain town, their daughter Casey becomes part of a horrific chain of events, revealing that their neighbors are not what they seem. Soon, an unsettling old woman named Agnes Early, Agnes Early fixates on Janet and Oliver's other daughter, two-year-old Isabel. It becomes clear that it's impossible to know who to trust or who is even still human. So, yeah, interesting. I'll be picking that one up. That's from Boom Studios. Uh, Dark Horse Comics has a couple coming out. Blue Book number two, I really enjoyed Blue Book number one. It's the Alien Abduction book. Um, all blue and white interiors. It's kind of an eerie, an eerie vibe. I really liked it. Looking forward to picking this one up. Dark Horse also is putting out a book called Order and Outrage. And that one is basically gene manipulation um, by a tyrannous government, a, 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 tyr a tyranny state, basically, kind of trying to weed out undesirables. So it's a really kind of a dark uh, vibe with that. And out of that, there's springing rebellion and outrage. So, yeah, I think that sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward to that. On to Image Comics. 
Image Comics has put out a book called Dead Romans Number One. And the solicitation was kind of uh, confusing. It's about this Germanic prince, it says, who, uh, you know, he wants to take down the, uh, the empire that slayed his people or whatever. And so he's a prince, but then it says he wants to make a queen out of his woman who is a slave like him. Is he a prince or is he a slave? I don't understand the solicitation. I may pick it up. Game time decision. Torrent number two. Torrent number one was really good. It was kind of a shocking book at the end. Um, I'm really looking forward to picking that up and seeing where it goes. And this is a big one that I've been looking for for about four months, it seems. Vanish number five. Donny Cates is back with Vanish number five. Start of the new arc of this book. And I really enjoyed it. I caught up Vanish one through four a while back. So I am all caught up, but it's been so long, I kind of have to have a refresher. But I'm really looking forward to Vanish. It's a pretty good story. Um... Source Point Press has a few books that are interesting. The first one is called Ben Mortara and the Thieves of the Golden Table. It basically sounds like Indiana Jones. So I'm kind of in. You know, if, if I see it, I'll pick it up. I'm not going out of my way, though. But it, it, it really sounds like Indiana Jones. So it kind of looks like it. Look at the cover. Source Point put out a book called Deep Dark, number one, and I thought that one kind of sounded interesting. And find my notes on that one. Deep Dark it says Erica is looking for the mythological, the mythical is looking for the mythical Deep Dark, hoping it sheds answers on her past. Instead, she finds herself in a world of gods and monsters where all the horrors of myth and legend are very, very real. So it's kind of a mythical type deal with, uh, you know, fantasy monsters and stuff like that. I'll give it a shot. I'll pick up the first issue and see how it goes. Um, Nightwalkers number three is out. I've collected one and two. I haven't read them, but it's by Colin Bunn, and I do like his work. So I'll pick up number three, and eventually I will catch up on reading those. Um, Scout Comics has one that I thought was interesting called We Wicked Ones. And if I can find my notes on that, the solicitation on that one, it says, After being orphaned in a mass witch burning orchestrated by the U.S. government, Celia Jordan grew up to be Washington, D.C.'s darkest secret. She's now wreaking havoc as the city's resident witch. The city's resident witch and its most sought after contract killer. When a politician hires her to kill a beloved and powerful superhero, Celia hesitates, but not for long. No one has been able to catch her yet. Why would they now? Featuring breathtaking cover by David Mack. And you can see that cover does look great. But yeah, so that's kind of an interesting sounding book. Sure. And Red 5, another indie. Red 5 puts out a book called Fallen that I found interesting. Um, and that one, if I can find my notes on that. It's about a, uh, an ancient warrior who served Zeus, who had now turned into a uh, private detective. His name is Casper Clay. And he's just trying to solve a murder of a god at the hands of a mysterious killer. And as he gets closer to unraveling the truth, he learns it may be more at stake than solving a mystery. So, yeah, it's kind of a pretty good hook, I guess. We'll give it an issue and see. Give it one issue and see, right? Now we're going to move on to Marvel Comics. Amazing Spider-Man 22 is already out. And wasn't that just out a couple weeks ago? So they must be doing bi, uh, bi-monthly on that. Or bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. 
every two weeks. ASM 22, um, who is Benjamin Rabin? Rabin. So yeah, we're going to continue on that story. It's pretty interesting. I really, I really liked number 21. So looking forward to that. I think one of Marvel's biggest books of the week is going to be Doctor Strange number one. A newly launched title written by Jed McKay. And Jed McKay is a very good, very creative writer. He seems to like to create and put his stamp on stuff. So look for, don't sleep on that one. Definitely pick this one up. I'm going to pick up probably two copies. I think I pre-ordered two copies as well from MyComicShop.com, so that'll be an addition to what I buy at the shop this week. So, uh, yeah, um, look for something either leading into a new character, maybe a cameo of something. You know, I'm, I'm thoroughly expecting there to be something in that book. Of significance. Um, another one with a first appearance is She-Hulk number 11 and there is definitely confirmed in the solicit that there is a new villain going to be introduced in this book. And I've been buying this one all the way through. This has actually been a very good story, a good book. So I definitely recommend picking this one up, not just for the spec, but actually reading it. It's a pretty fun, good story. Uh, Tiger Division number five is the wrap up of this Tiger Division mini series. Um, I've collected it all the way through. I have not read this. I just figured that it was one that I wanted to collect, but I didn't really see much interest in reading it because I'm not into the Korean stuff and it's just not my thing, but I can see how it can be popular, so I decided to collect it. And Extreme X-Men number four is out. And I've enjoyed this story. This has been kind of a real X-Men story to me. Kind of a throwback anyway. Chris Claremont's writing it. Salvador La Roca is drawing it. And it's amazing art. And it's a good story. I mean, I'm in. I'm in as long as it comes out, I'll be buying it. So, All right, that is Marvel. Marvel's kind of a light week. I only got five titles on there. DC has a decent week. I also have a few titles here. I have Flash 795. It's just continuing the uh, One Minute War, which I've collected the whole thing. I'm not a Flash reader. I'm not really a Flash fan, so to speak. But I figured that this One Minute War could be significant moving forward, so I decided to collect it. Um, Milestone 30th Anniversary Special is out and it's a kind of a pricey book it's like 899 cover or something like that but the one thing in the solicit that interested me is there is a a female character who is grown up now and is going to be taking on the mantle of icon so we have a new icon in this book and because of that i will be picking this one up and World's Finest, number 13, is out, written by Mark Wade. And this has just been a good book, a good solid title, a good read. So definitely supporting that. And what I believe is the big book, possibly, of the year. And this is what my backdrop is about. Black Cat is my favorite anti-hero. And these are anti-heroes. These are companions to our, our main characters. Black Cat is the companion, the anti-hero, if you will, to Spider-Man. Over here is Catwoman, who is the anti-hero, the counterpart to Batman. These characters are always popular. They're more popular than villains. They're right on tier with the heroes, really. And Superman number two is out, and it is introducing Superman's Catwoman, Superman's Black Cat. Could. It could be. I don't see why this won't be successful. It's a cool character design, um, cool name, the spirit of Metropolis. 
Maryland Moonlight and you have uh, cover A here and it's a cool looking cover now there's a couple variant covers as well that has her on the cover I'll be picking those up now I pre-ordered months ago I saw this in the solicits I pre-ordered with mycomicshop.com I ordered four copies of cover A so everything that I buy at the shop on Wednesday next week is going to be in addition to my four cover A's and I plan on buying heavy on this book because this one is going to be a big book a big character I thoroughly believe that and I would absolutely recommend everyone jump all over this because it's not often that you have a kind of anti-hero like this and Superman doesn't have that He's never, you know, and I am a Superman fan big time, and I want them to really grow his universe and grow his world. That's one thing that I think plagues Superman is he's just got, he's got Lex Luthor, and then he's got a bunch of what I consider just kind of insignificant monster type bad guys. You know, I, I, I don't like his rogues gallery at all. He doesn't, he doesn't have the rogues gallery that Batman does per se. He doesn't have the characters that Batman or Spider-Man has per se and they're they need to really make good characters for Superman's mythos and I believe that Marilyn Moonlight the spirit of Metropolis is the start of that and I think she's going to be a huge character going forward so definitely jump all over that one guys and that is going to do it for the look ahead for this week lots of books a lot of books out this week so pick what you like and good luck with it and i hope you get everything that you that you set out to get all right we'll check back in on a new comic book day haul video and i'll show you everything i picked up and hopefully it's everything that i want to get all right guys see ya next week bye for now